Hello, my name's Liam, Senior Animal Behaviourist for Greyhounds' Pets, where I use my expertise in behavioural assessments and behaviour modification to help transition greyhounds as athletes to Greyhounds' as Pets. Today, I'm going to take you through the journey of Daisy, one of our greyhounds here at GAP. When a greyhound retires, the first thing we do is to undertake a pre-assessment. The aim of the pre-assessment is to get an indication of the greyhound's readiness for rehoming. If they are ready to start their journey to be rehomed at GAP, we move to get an overview of the greyhound's overall behaviour so that we can tailor a certain plan for the dog. The pre-assessment includes things like observing their behaviour towards other dogs. For example, their reaction to walking past another dog in a parallel walk, then slowly moving closer to sniff the other dog. We also assess a reaction to things like waiting in the yard and interactions with the GAP staff. Although almost every greyhound that comes in for a pre-assessment is ultimately accepted into the GRAP program, the pre-assessment is a vital step for us to understand each dog's behavioural needs while they are at the facility and give them the best opportunity to adjust before they get adopted. When a greyhound enters the GAP program, to make sure that they are ready to be retired, we ensure they are sterilised, wormed, vaccinated, microchipped, and we undertake a more comprehensive behaviour assessment. Here at GAP, we use the National Temperament Assessment Model which was developed by an animal behavioralist and national GAP program. This assessment looks at all aspects of the greyhound's behavior in a structured way, including a more in-depth assessment of its interactions with other dog breeds. If any concerns are noted, we develop the behavior modification plan tailored for the dog, and our team will commence the implementation of the plan immediately. When a greyhound is put on a behavior modification plan, one of our staff trained in canine behavior will conduct a daily session with the dog to work on the concerns noted in the assessment. Their progress is reviewed regularly and their plan adjusted on a case-by-case -case basis. All daily behavior is noted and any behavioral changes are recorded in their kennel notes. Behavior in any animal is dependent on a range of factors, including genetics, early learning experiences, and their environment. Therefore, GAP aims to gather as much information as possible about their behaviour from different sources, such as in-kennel, yard interactions and veterinary trips. Upon passing the National Temperament Assessment, a greyhound will be issued with a green collar and ID card, meaning it does not need to wear a muzzle in public. Following a successful implementation of the Behaviour Modification Plan, the greyhound is then moved into foster care for further work and monitoring in a home environment. Foster carers are given appropriate training tools in order to support the process, and they update us regularly on how the greyhound is doing throughout the process. Foster carers are an invaluable part of preparing greyhounds for rehoming, where foster carers can further assist greyhounds in adjusting to a home environment and situations they may be exposed to, such as going for walks near traffic, having an unknown visitor at the door, or being home alone. The greyhounds are then reassessed back at the GAP facility in three to four weeks and all feedback from the foster carers are included when reviewing Greyhound's behaviour modification plan. Once a Greyhound is ready, there are two ways people can adopt a Greyhound from GAP. The first way is foster to adopt. In a foster to adopt, your Greyhound will pass its green collar assessment, but will not have spent much time in a home environment. In this option, you act as a foster carer for a period of four weeks, helping your Greyhound transition to a home life. After four weeks has passed, we process the adoption. Straight adoption, where you are adopting a greyhound that has passed a green collar assessment and spend a minimum of four weeks in a foster care. This option is suitable for people who have certain requirements as to what they want their greyhound to be exposed to, for example, cats or other types of animals. At GAP, we try our best to match the right greyhound with the right owner. However, if it doesn't work out, we'll always take the greyhound back no matter how much time has passed. 